Good morning everyone, we just learned that Samsung and Tesla chiefs have met in Silicon Valley and this high profile meeting has prompted speculations about new partnership on chip for autonomous driving. Welcome back everyone, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to this channel for daily breaking Tesla and electric vehicle news if you are here first time. So Korean, uh, the Korean Herald is reporting that Samsung Electronics Chairman Lee Jae Young met with Tesla CEO Elon Musk in the Korean tech giant's cheap complex in Silicon Valley last Wednesday to discuss ways to strengthen cooperation in future tech industries. This is according to industry sources on Sunday that the Korean Herald is reporting. Now, during the meeting, sources said the two business leaders agreed to continue exchanges for next generation technology development, especially on chip for fully autonomous vehicles. That means Samsung and Tesla may be doing a partnership together, just like Tesla and Panasonic have partnership on batteries. And in this case, their partnership will produce uh, chips for electric vehicle autonomous driving for Tesla vehicles, obviously. It was the first time the heads of the world's largest memory chip maker Samsung and the world's largest electric vehicle maker Tesla held on in-person meeting. The high-profile meeting between Lee and Elon Musk was also attended by Samsung's top executives, including uh, co-CEO Kyung Kai Hoon and foundry uh, business chief Choi Si Young. So as you can see, this meeting between Elon Musk and Samsung leaders was very kind of representative meeting. Samsung and Tesla have worked together on developing autonomous driving chips since 2019. With the latest meeting, industry observers are paying attention to whether it would give the Korean tech giant a leg up against rival Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Corporation. The two are competing to win a major contract to produce next generation chips for Tesla electric vehicle. With the latest meeting, keen attention is focused on whether Samsung can secure more cheap orders from Tesla. Currently, Samsung produces advanced autonomous driving chips for NVIDIA and Mobile. Samsung has recently bolstered its technology leadership in the foundry sector by introducing the 4 nanometer production process to grow its autonomous vehicle business. The company also looks to expand and find new partners in the autonomous vehicle sector and increase the proportion of non-mobile sales in its foundry business by more than half by 2027. According to market research firm Strategy Analytics and Research and Markets, the global autonomous uh, automotive chip market is expected to grow to $400 billion in 2024 and $700 billion in 2028. We're talking about US billion dollars. Uh, the auto sector continues its shift to electric and autonomous vehicles. The number and types of chips used to expect that to diversify, the research firm said. Lee Samsung's de facto leader returned home Friday after a 22-day business trip to the United States. It was his longest stay overseas since he took over the group's management while uh, when his father, the late chairman Lee Kun Hee, was hospitalized after a heart attack in May 2014. Lee accomplished President Yoon Suk Yeol as part of 122-person business delegation. Uh, he actually accompanied the president during his six-day state visit in the United States last, last month. After the president's state visit, Lee remained in the country to meet some 20 CEOs of global companies including Google, Microsoft, NVIDIA and Johnson & Johnson. During the meetings, the Samsung chief shared Samsung's meet to long-term vision with global business leaders and explored ways they could cooperate uh, to lead futuristic industries. A source with the knowledge of the meeting said on condition of anonymity to the Korean Herald. He also focused on strengthening Samsung's global network for its future growth diverse centered um, uh, drivers, actually future growth drivers centered on system chip, secondary batteries, sixth generation network services, artificial intelligence and biotechnology, seeing the firm's business ties with the US as a matter of survival.
Samsung is focused with the challenge of cultivating the future growth drivers amid the downturn in the global ICT market. At a crossroad, Lee made an effort to use his global network to explore new business strategies and made a breakthrough, that source told the Korean Herald. So what do you think, friends, about Samsung and Tesla chiefs Elon Musk meeting in Silicon Valley last Wednesday? Like I said, this high-profile meeting prompted speculation about new partnership on chips for autonomous driving between Tesla and Samsung. Tesla has launched the Cybertruck raffle as part of their revamped referral program and people can enter to have a chance to get a free Cybertruck. Good morning and welcome back dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. There is a big Cybertruck Tesla news this morning. Tesla is offering a free Cybertruck as part of a raffle that marks the introduction of a revamped referral program for the company's current and future customers. From what I've heard, Cybertruck's uh, pre orders were going so well why tesla does need to do a referral program to do a raffle for the cybertruck i think they were, they're trying to um, increase the ante before the cybertruck production and the uh, sales i don't know the raffle was spotted by twitter user baby tesla 3 who took some screenshots from the official tesla app showing the new credits scheme enter here for your chance at a free cybertruck reads the description of the electric pickup lottery one one winner will be selected at random to receive one of the first Cybertruck VINs of the line. No reservation is needed, free of charge, multiple entries are allowed. I think this is better than advertising. What do you think, friends? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As mentioned in the official raffle description, it's free to enter. However, anyone who wants to have a shot at winning the Cybertruck needs 500 credits in their Tesla account. Credits can be accumulated by giving someone a referral link to buy a Tesla product or by buying something from the company directly, which returns loyalty points. I think this is interesting and smart. To this effect, the Fremont-based electric vehicle maker has revamped the loyalty program, which now offers the following benefits. Referral as Model S or Model X gets the referral 3,500 credits when the purchase is finalized. Referring a Model 3 or Model Y gets the referrer 2,000 credits. And buying a Model S or Model X gets you 6,000 credits, while the purchase of a Model 3 or Model Y automatically gets the buyer 3,000 credits credits. A moment ago, I said Fremont-based electric vehicle maker. I meant like it's their first factory was in Fremont, although Tesla has been now moved, uh, has been, uh, has moved itself to uh, Austin, Texas. Tesla's referral program uh, for the Cybertruck has been actually quite a roller coaster ride in the past, uh, before the Cybertruck, with, its, uh, with it going online and offline several times in the last five years, and with success stories and not so great experiences, at least when it comes to YouTubers. Back in 2019, electric vehicle content creator Andy Slay revealed that he managed to earn not one but two Tesla Roadster in just two months using the company's referral program. A year later, however, Rich Rebuild said that his referral code was cut because uh, of quote-unquote bad faith. I don't know what that means. In 2021, the refer referral program was cancelled by Tesla, only to be put back in operation two years later, albeit in a different form than before. As always, would like to know what do you think about this uh, news about Cybertruck referral program, someone to get a free Cybertruck. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Let's move to our next story.